Okay guys, Nurse Josh here. What Crows 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 just came out with a new game called the Temple of No, and I want to do a let's play of it. So let's get started. Crows Crows Game. This game is made in Twine. Click on underline words to play. Gotta have headphones. This story may frighten and disturb you, but if you have a strong stomach and a smart brain box, a cool face, then perhaps you're brave enough to hear it. Apparently you have to click on the underlying words in order to do things in the game. This story- what? Please don't interrupt me while I'm explaining what's about to go down. This story may frighten and- wait, I can click on it again? <laughs> this story- listen, this is a twine. You're acting like you never played a twine before. Well, I haven't. So please just- mm, this story may frighten and disturb- <laughs> what? Seriously? Never played a twine before? Well, you're about to be spoiled because it's going to be the best twine ever made. Yeah, that's right. Even better than the beginning of Firewatch. <laughs> this twine may frighten and disturb you. No. This joke isn't funny anymore. And it's your fault for continuing to click on it. Don't do it again. Oh, they took it away. <laughs> okay, but if you have a strong stomach and a smart brain box and a cool face, then perhaps you're brave enough to hear it. Jesus. <laughs> Perhaps you're brave like a storm, a bear, or a sailor. Well, I think I'm brave like a bear, seeing as that's my avatar. Enough about that. Enough of that. This isn't about you. Anyway, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. This is a story. <laughs> Wait, let's see if it does it again. Alright, there's no more of these. <laughs> Took place a long time ago. It's a good one. A big fat book. Anyway, let's get this old dusty tome out and hear its fantastic tale. It's called... The Brave Like a Bear Explorer, The Jungle of Doubt, and The Temple of No, presented by Crows, Crows, Crows. Let's begin. Okay, so this is a magical book. The magic power is to be incredibly relatable. <laughs> Are we a man, a bloke, or a frog? Well, I'm a bloke, so let's play as a bloke. So Charles turned his adventure in the way he often started his adventures. In the field outside his house picking daisies. He'd pick five or six, weave them in a little tiara for the daughter he'd always wanted. And wait, wait a second. This is sounding like a run-of-the-mill generic twine. Oh, let's see what happens when you click twine. A twine is a game. It's like a game, but for teenagers who want to be in the past. This is... This isn't a story about daisies or lost loves. It's let's turn a couple of pages and get to the good stuff. Turn page. The withered trees of his backyard. He'd missed his dark, hairy love every day of his life since he... Nope, keep going. The <laughs> autumn leaves would fall soon. He thought then upon his old primary school. This is... The, yeah, they are British, I guess. In which his headmaster had always said, Nothing lasts for it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> keep turning. Turn... <laughs> Nothing lasts forever turned to ash. Okay, the frogs hopped around the pond and his, as he moved slowly on his parents' words came to him. Remember the explorer's oath. Look, don't to- oh, fuck's sake, I swear this gets good soon. <laughs> the dog yapped and yet this is not related to the previous paragraph. <laughs> its owner shouted, Beaker, be still, with a roar. Charles knew this woman would never cease to- we must be nearly there. The baboon gave a mighty screech and tore upon his face like a primate threshing much Keep going. Wait, wait, wait. Go back one? Turn back. That's not going to be the same turn. How? Oh, okay. This is very confusing. Oh, wait, no. It was just explaining how Charles lost his eye. Says he fought a baboon on one of his earlier adventures. Sorry. Turn 50 more pages. Oh, no. Fucking jungle transition in audio. Noticing this? Depression Quest didn't have this. Right. Alright, let's go right into the story. Charles into the jungle of doubt on his journey to find... The map that sees all things that ever have been or will be, but in map form. The map was legendary. The old tales spoke about it. Yep, the old tales. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> anyway, so Charles knew he proper wanted the map to tell him the secrets of the universe. He brought the map back to civilization. He would truly achieve greatness. He knew it in his warm, fleshy human heart. The temple that held the map was close. Charles looked up, down, all around. Hmm. Let's look up. Up at the mossy green leaves and the giant jungle trees that reached high above him. They spread out and sometimes you could barely see the sun. He was in the heart of the jungle, and he knew his prize was near. 
Uh, let's look down. Down at the ground. He didn't know why he was looking down, but he could see some dirt, a bit of gum wrappers, some tourist or jungle resident had left on the floor. Clean up your litter, kids. Don't pollute the environment. True statement. Well, let's look all around. All around the jungle surrounding, he had to cut through the leaves and brush and flora and jungle debris to, in order to get the temple that he was going to. Through the leaves we went. As Charles cut the leaves and brush and flora and jungle debris, he thought about some shit, sang a little song, considered the possibility that life was futile. Yes. Charles thought about futility for a while, then he remembered it wasn't <laughs> any fun to think about it. And he thought about Frog doing a little dance. <laughs> Frog dance! Brian, Charles stopped imagining things. What a weirdo. Charles wasn't there yet. He still had much more jungle to cut through. So he thought about some shit. Let's sing a little song. Oh my gosh. He thought he was singing a little song. You must sing along in the background of music, these layers. If you don't... You will know. <laughs> this is hilarious to song. I'm cutting the leaves. I'm cutting the leaves. I'm pushing past the trees. I'm slashing away at these brush floor and jungle debris. My name is Charles and I'm singing a song to take up time while I travel along to the temple. No, that's where I'm going to go. Oh, I need to get on the beat. This way at these brush, floor, and jungle debris. I'm going on an adventure today. This game is really, really fun to play. <laughs> uh, I no, this isn't following along. Twine games can be fun, and I will shout. Check me out, me singing the jungle of doubt. I'm cutting the leaves and I'm pushing past the trees. I'm slashing away at these brush floor and jungle debris. I'm soon I'll be at the temple of no. Let's get lots of treasure and I'm going to go. Take back some back of my hometown. Keep it for myself and don't share any around. I'm cutting the leaves. I'm pushing past the trees. I'm flashing away. Oh, I guess I'm at the done. And Oh, see this got way too much. Let's try again. It repeated. Oh, if you didn't sing this song, please scroll back up. I tried. I tried. Crows, crows, crows. I tried. Okay, if you did sing the song, well done. You're cool now. <laughs> Fucking hell, Charles thought. Still a ways to go. He thought about some shit. Charles thought about how his feet were hurting him a bit. He wished he'd bought some Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe, trademark. Continued to think. Charles thought about how his nose was itchy. If he'd bought Geox shoes, the shoes that breathe, trademark, he would likely have had such comfortable feet that he wouldn't be bothered by a meager nose itch. He continued to think. Geox, the shoes that breathe. <laughs> he did it all. Thought about some shit, sang a little song, considered the possibility that life was futile. Yes! Light! Charles emerged from the jungle and saw... The Temple of No. Charles marveled at its magnificence. Probably built by the Aztecs, dude. Aztecs, dude, it's like big! Anyway... We're not gonna get anywhere just sitting around here giving exposition. Let's climb some stairs! Up we go, up we go, up we go, up the stairs we go, and then the temple. So it's temple time, eh? Remember the explorer's oath. I uh, don't look, look, don't touch. <laughs> okay, let's try. Oh no, I don't want to touch anything though. If I do that, be extra careful. We arrived in a large hall with three doors. Three. Three doors. Three. Three? That's one plus two. Three doors. Right, it's selection time, everybody. Middle, left, middle, or anti-left? Oh, God. This is going to take a while, I can tell. But we're going to have to touch doorknobs, aren't we? Middle is the Omega. Let's go in the middle. So Charles entered the big old, old big room. Okay, wow. More stairs in here. Let's climb them. Climbing up, climbing up, climbing up, up, up. Yes. 
Remember back at the start of this Twine game when you picked Sailor Storm, blah blah? Yeah, those were good times. Oh shit! Wait, wait, no! Boulder, run away, dude! Run! There's danger! Run! Pressing danger! Are you excited? Screw if you want to get pressed in the next thing again! Ah! <laughs> okay, so that's not the room. I guess Charles will try one of the other doors. Oh jeez. Let's go. Let's go left. Oh wow, the spike room. Remember the spike milligan? Nope. Good. Webster Dictionary defines spike as one, a very large nail. Two, a one row of pointed irons placed as on the top of a wall to prevent passage. B one is several metal projections set in the hole in the heel of a show to imp wait, no, that doesn't apply here. Okay, I don't think there's anything in this room. Hmm, I guess we should turn back around. Oh, alright. Only one last door to try. Boy oh boy, Charles is bad at this door choosing thing, am I right? Anti-left it is. Oh, dude, there's a room with a bunch of snakes having a pool party. Remember the game Snake? Snake, it's a snake. Remember how did actual gameplay? Can't make snake and twine, can you? <laughs> no, but let's t let's talk to the snakes. Why are we talking to snakes? Hey, it's snakes. Uh. Uh. Yeah, they seem to be having a cool time. No treasure in here, though, unless you count a bunch of snakes as treasure, which I personally don't. Yep, so that was Spooky Snake Room. Sorry if you got scared. Back in here, I guess. The no doors lead to the right path. Can no door truly bring us what we want in life? Perhaps this is the meaning of the meaning of this tale. You can go back through a jungle, sing a song, climb some boring stairs, check a bunch of rooms, and you'll still never find what you were looking for. Wow, makes you think, eh? Makes you think. Hmm. Hmm. The end. <laughs> Oh, is it really the end? I don't want it to end. That's just one playthrough. Oh, wait, there's another door over to the right. Let's do it. Throne room entrance. <laughs> Charles entered the door and found the great leader's chamber. He looks pretty bored <laughs> and made of clouds. Great leader's chamber on the seat was Oh, the great hello, leader! Sir. Come on in, come on in. Right, so, um, hello? Charles, um, I'm listen. Uh, hello? Uh, Let's wait for sorry, him. Sorry, one sec. Let me just. Uh. Right. Um. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so, yeah, nice. Not, hello. Right, hello. My name is. My name's fucking Keith. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Keith. And I am. Uh, well, uh. I'm the guy in the throne, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the bloody... <laughs> God. Um, funny, funny story, you look like you kind of come from civilised society, I think. Um, but, yeah, so I, um, funnily enough, used to be a shoe salesman, you know, I sold, um, you know, shoes, I, I sized people's shoes down, um, you know, down, 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 down. Market, you know, for you know, <laughs> feet out, you know, measuring them, tell you what size you are, you know, put your put your feet on the little thing. And, um, <laughs> it's a shoe so, salesman. You know, I was, you know, back in back in the storage when, you know, um, I found, I, 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 I went past kind of size six, uh, before before I got to size seven, and then you know. God, no, no, next thing, next thing I bloody well know, I'm, I'm here, I'm here, uh, here in this temple, accidentally bloody kill the old, uh, the old Aztec god, and, um, and so the, the, the people of the, this temple and, and of the surrounding jungle constituencies, they, they've made me their, um, de facto leader, uh, uh, yeah, um, so... <laughs> You know, that, that's, that's my <laughs> story. Um, looking at you, you you seem to have come along well. Well, you know, I, I won't presume to, to ask you about yourself, but, you know, so, um, yeah, n nice to meet you. Name's Keith. Um, Gotta remember his name, can, don't we? Find the, the, it's the Keith. Place. Okay, um, I know it is a bit of a, well, well, it wasn't a track for me, you know, but fucking between size and six. Uh, six and seven, uh, size shoes and then... What? I'm gonna write this crap down. But, um, no, clearly, like, like you thought you thought 
you've got you're quite quite uh, you're quite well travelled clearly. Uh, so you've probably come a long way. Are, are you stopping? Are you stopping? Are you, are you passing through? Like um, not hearing a lot of words here. To be fair, not hearing a lot of words here. But um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm happy to you know wait. I'll, 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 um, so how are you finding the place? Nice. <laughs> um, Is he just gonna go, go on you know, forever? Really very old. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't study. See, even the voice actor's starting to laugh. Yeah, I don't really know too much about the place, you know. I'm, I'm trying to work a bit of stuff out um, from, you know, subjects. You know, what they tell me, uh, I'll tell you, it is a relief. It is a relief, at the very minimum, you know, to, to meet someone who clearly bloody understands what I'm saying. You know, people here do not, do not speak Anglaic. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, no, I mean, I mean, yeah, um, so, tell you what, um, how about you, you, um, you could tell me, like, why you're here, I feel, I feel like you're, you're looking at me a lot, you know, I'm a nerd, you know, I don't want to have to, uh, you know, That's not way too long. Really, my guards have you uh, whisked away. Uh, but, but, fact, how did you get in here? Did you? Well, um. <laughs> oh, come on! No, okay, um. Sorry, I am really sorry. The great leader uh, trademark. You can't have the map, okay? Um. So, and Charles sorry, decided to of, uh, kill him. Uh, what? Oh, get wrecked. Oh, I became the great leader! And violate the explorer's oath. No, look, but do not touch. It was tres importante French. Now, as great leader Lloyd approached him, ready to worship him as a new god, Charles had to decide right then and now whether or not he would break his vows and be totally cool ruler in the jungle, or grab the map and <laughs> escape back to Civilization Five. <laughs> Advisor as a sponsor of this game. Let's go. We're escaping. And that's what he did. Or should I say, that's what I did! Oh! That's right, fools. I'm old Charles, and that shit happened to me. I don't know what lessons I learned, or if any. if I learned any lessons at all, but I got the map. I got it! It's given me many pieces of insight, and because you've heard my tale and listened to my words of wisdom, I will tell you one piece right now. The wisdom is. Have you ever played a good game made in Twine? Like this one, it's actually good, not just a good for a Twine game? That's it. The end. Oh, it's actually over. It's on each side. Oh, you can play again. I love Crows, Crows, Crows games, people. Playing Stanley Parable and Dr. Langeskov have been really good, so I hope you guys like this video. I hope you all play it. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, be sure to subscribe and comment on the video. Thanks for watching. I might do another playthrough, but this was just a little let's play, so sorry if I fumbled in my wording or anything. It was the first time I played the game. I want to let you guys see it, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to y'all later.